tested throughout his life. Was tested throughout his life. And we want to go to the earliest beginning. The first real introduction to David. You can say whether he was being tested by God or being tempted by the devil. But I want you to see how we withstood him. Go to 1 Samuel chapter 17. 1 Samuel chapter 17. 1 Samuel chapter 17. Chapter 17. Let me know when you are found it. Remember, always come to church with your instruments of warfare. Look at verse 37. And then we go back and follow the story. Verse 37 of chapter 17. David said, Moreover, the Lord that delivered me out of the paw of that lion, talking about an earlier experience in life, and out of the paw of the bear, he will deliver me out of the hand of this Philistine. Who was the Philistine? The lad. Huh? Goliath. Was David a great big warrior at that time? Was he nine feet something like Goliath was? Was there any evidence at all that he could have a victory over Goliath? No. There was no evidence. Nothing in his training, his background, his size. Nothing at all. So that is a good example of what? Faith. faith. Sometimes we even call it blind faith. Some of us see by our eyes. Hello? When we see something, we believe it, don't it? But this is blind faith. He believing in something he can't even see. Let's go back to the first chapter, the first verse of chapter 17. This must be one of the most told true stories in the world, don't it? Every child knows about the story of David and Goliath. You think it will get so boring that we'll stop teaching in church? We'll stop preaching about it? Never. <laughs> okay. Because it just exemplifies faith. Verse 1, chapter 17. Now the Philistines gathered together their armies to battle. And they were gathered together. And it tells you all of that. Then verse 2 says, And Saul and the men of Israel. Who were the Philistines fighting against? Huh? The men of Israel. The Israeli the armies, matter of fact, not just one, the armies of Israel. Who was king of Israel? Saul. Saul. They were gathered together. And if you go to verse 3, we're just skipping through in the interest of time. And the Philistines stood on a mountain on one side, and Israel stood on a mountain on the other side and there was a valley 